there. Can you can you read, please, sir? Wonders of the world. Wonders of the world. What do you see in the pictures? Wonders. Wonders. What about this picture? What do you see? Buildings. And yeah, buildings. And in this land. picture? Landscapes. Maybe landscape, but this, this is a landscape, but this is not a landscape. What is this? Okay. Uh, the ocean. Is the ocean, okay. These are uh, the reefs. Not the, not the fish, but the reefs, the coral reef. Mountains, what do you call these guys? Uh, Aurora. Aurora. In English? I don't know. I don't know. Northern, I mean, Northern Lights. Northern Lights. Northern Lights. And this? Uh, waterfall. Waterfalls, that's right. In this unit, you learn how to. Sue, can you read lesson eight, please? Talk about your country or city using superlative adjectives and superlatives with nouns. Thank you. Mr. Lesobi, please. Ask an answer question about your country's natural features with how class ad adjective. Very good. Thank you very much, Mr. Hi, Danny. <coughs> Can you please read lesson C? Mm, yes. Lesson C. Use short uh, responses with read uh, really, really in short to be a supportive listener and use superlatives for emphasis. Yes, supportive. Supportive. Supportive, yes. Supportive listener. And Sue, can you please read the last one? Mm, read an article about world record. Write a factual article about your country. Thank you very much. Now let's begin. What do you see in picture number one? Okay. A what? A volcano. Um, volcano or mountain. A volcano. Okay. Hi, Danny. How are you? Nice Hi. to see you. Okay. Danny, let me introduce you to Natividad. Natividad, this is Danny. Where's Danny? Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Danny. All right. Picture number two, what do you see? My God. Pyramid. Pyramid. A pyramid, yeah. What about number three? Pyramid. I don't know exactly. Hang on. Forest. A forest. What did you say, Natividad? Oh, in Spanish, canyon. I don't know in English. Ah, that what you just said is in English is a canyon. 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 What about picture number four? That's a roller coaster. Yeah. So. Roller number coaster. Number one. Number one. Which, which volcano is it? Is this the Popocatépetl? Uh, I think yes. Yeah? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Is the Arenal Costa volcano in Costa Rica. It has been continuously active since 1968. Can you imagine? How many years has this volcano been active? Um, Forty-three, more like fifty-three. Two, almost fifty-three. Okay. What about what? Which pyramid is this? Picture number two. Uh, which? Giza. Uh, Giza. Giza. Yes, yeah, the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt dates from around twenty-five sixty. B C E. Do you know what this means, guys? B C E. Before Christ. What? It's before I don't know. 
Christ. Before Christ era. 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 Yes. What about number three? Canyon. The Great Canyon of Yarlong, Sangpu, in Tibet, is deeper than the Grand Canyon in the United States. Can you see that? Amazing. And number four. This roller coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey, USA, has a 139 meter drop and goes at 206 kilometers per hour. Wow, now this is a little tall and it's a little fast, don't you think? Yes, it's yes too it fast. is. Now, have you ever seen an active volcano? No, I haven't. Only in TV. On, on TV, yeah. Have you ever visited an ancient city or monument? Yes, I did. No, you yes, did? I have. Yes, you have. Yes, I have. What about you guys? Dani? No, I no, haven't. I haven't. What about number three? Have you ever gone hiking in a beautiful canyon? No, I haven't, but I would like to try it. Nice. I Not in a canyon, but a uh, great mountain, yes. Okay, very nice. Yes, on the mountain, yes. Okay. And number four, have you ever ridden a scary roller coaster? No, I haven't. Yes, I did. What? A six flags. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, yes, I have. Sue? Microphone. Okay, so when, where, how, and why? About the things I have done? Yes. Seen an, uh, an active volcano, visited an ancient city, done hiking or ridden a scary roller coaster. When, where, how, and why? With me, I have ridden a scary roller coaster in Guadalajara. Uh, the, um, I don't remember the name of the park. But uh, we went to we went with my family, and I I ride a uh, scary roller coaster. You rode. Yeah, we this, rode. Yeah, you rode. There you are, ladies. Anything to say? I have a I have seen a active volcano in, on TV. Uh, the last month in news, in the news. In the news, okay. So, what about you? Um, four years ago, I visited Palenque. Nice. And and it was really really cool because. Uh, you can walking around there. You can walk. Take what? You can walk. Yes, you can walk around, around. there and take uh, amazing pictures about that monument. Very nice. Thank you. Now we're going to start with human wonders. Now, what wonders do you have in the picture? Let's begin with this, this place Machu right here. Machu Picchu? Yeah, what is Machu Picchu? 
What is it? It's um, a older civilization. Okay. A city in the mountains, uh, right? It's a, it's a, it's a very uh, in, in magnificent city in a very high mountain. What about this, uh, this uh, structure? What is wow. this structure? Mm, China. Red wall. Red wall. The, the Great Wall, the great of, wall China. of China. Yeah. The Great Wall of China. What is the Great Wall of China? It's a big and long wall. Okay, what about this? This thing right here, what is this? Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Taj. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Okay. And what is the Taj Mahal? It's a palace, right? A giant palace. What about this guy? The Coliseum. And what is that? It's a Colosseum, right? But it's a giant Colosseum. Giant Colosseum. And what about this guy? What is this? Petra. I'm sorry? The, the city. No, this guy. Teotihuacan? Oh, no, it's, yeah, what uh, is this guy? A pyramid. 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 And yes, what is this? Nothing that? It's a city, city uh, yeah, it's, among the stones. Uh, yes, uh, there is a larger portion. The big portion, yes, is the city. This in particular is a temple. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, and this temple mm -hmm. is built in the rock. In the rocks. Yes. There wasn't material used. They only carved the rock and they built the temple and it's gigantic too. And the last one it's is okay. Easy. Sorry, it's okay if you say on. Go ahead, Matilda. About the last sentence, uh temple built in rock is it's right. I can say on on the rocks. On the rocks will be over the rock. Um, so yes. yes and okay. what I'm trying what I'm trying to tell you guys, built in rock. It means that the rock was sculpted. The rock was picked okay. and molded and they made the temple. Okay, thank you. And what about this guy? What did you say, so for this, the last part, the last thing? So? Um, I think Brazil is a big uh, Jesus, right? Yeah, what is it, guys? Do you know the name? No, I don't know. Christ? No, Rio I don't, de don't know. You don't know? Oh, my goodness. It's a Corcovado Christ in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, the name in English? Oh, my gosh. What's in English? I don't remember the name in English. <laughs> I know it in Spanish. But it's a giant monument. Um, okay. So. Teacher, the, the monument below... Uh, it's the Parthenon. Where? Which one? A temple built in Rome. No, but the, but the, the Parthenon is, is in Greece. Greece. And this is in Jordania. Yeah. It's in a different country. What is his name? I don't remember. Do you remember? Do you know the name, Natividad? Uh, it's a Petra. Yeah, they just call it the city of Petra. Oh? No? Yeah, they just call it the whole thing, everything. They that, call it the city, city of yeah. Petra. Oh, so okay. Here, I didn't know that. All right. So here we have them again. What do we have here? Coliseum. Yes. And the next one? Yeah. Machu Picchu. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Oh, which one? Uh, 
giant monument? Yes. Right. What are human wonders? The Taj Mahal, Pyramid. But what are human wonders? Human wonders are impressive structures made by, by man. man. But why wonders? Because they are impressive. Is this building right here impressive? Let's check out more. What do you see here? What is this? Um, a skyscraper. Yes. So we have a skyscrapers. We have the same thing. It's the same name. High rises. Or they can also be called towers. towers. What about these guys? What are these? Bridge. And in plural, bridges, bridges, or what is the other name? Overpasses. Overpasses. And this is in plural. In singular, it will be overpass. Oh. What is this? Stadium. A stadium. A stadium. Yes. A stadium. That's right. And what is this? A huge airplane. A plane. A huge airplane. A city. A magnificent city. An impressive city. And this? Amazing. Wow. Impressive structure. An amazing artificial island. Yeah. Why? This is, this is artificial. Did you know that? Yes. No, I didn't know that. This is in Dubai, no? In Dubai, yes. It's in Dubai. So what is the girl thinking of? In a boat? A boat, about yeah. the construction of uh, a boat. What other things do you know are big and made by man? Eiffel Tower. The type Eiffel Tower, yeah. The Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. What else? What more? Is that it? It's okay. The Tower of Pizza. Yeah, Tower of Pizza. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Golden Gate. Sheep and cars. Yeah. Yes, big ships. Now, what do we have here? What is this with books closed? Hello, Mr. Ortega. Welcome back. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mr. So with books closed, please. What is this? Exactly the name or? Skyscraper. My skyscraper, yes. Just the, the, the general name, uh -huh. the skyscraper. What about this? A bridge. bridge. A bridge. What is this? A mall. A mall and this? Uh -huh. Restaurant. Restaurant. This? Stadium. Stadium. What about this? What is that? Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Yes. Now, test your knowledge. Can you guess the answers to these questions? You're going to listen to the questions. Please close your books. No books open, please. Close your books and... I don't have. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the questions and choose your answers. 
you can write your answer on your notebook or on the screen if you want to, okay? But listen and choose your answer for each question. Each question is multiple choice, is either A or B or C. All you have to do is listen and pick your answer, A, B, or C. And just to make sure we don't get confused, this guy is number one, this is number two, this is three, this guy is four, five, and this is six. All right, listen. Oh my gosh. Hold on, this is not the right audio. Uh, I need to bring the correct audio back. Hold on, give me one second. All right, let's check it out. You ready? Your knowledge. Can you guess the answers yes. to these questions? One, which city has the tallest office building in the world? A, Kuala Lumpur. B, Taipei. C, Chicago. Two, where is the longest suspension bridge? A. Japan B. Denmark C. China 3. Where is the largest shopping mall? A. Canada B. China C. The United States 4. Where is the busiest fast food restaurant in the world? A. Seoul B. Moscow C. Hong Kong 5. Which city has the biggest soccer stadium in Europe? A. London B. Dublin C. Barcelona 6. Which country has the most tourism? A. The United States B. Spain C. France Okay. Do you have your answers or you need to listen one more time? That's okay. It's okay? Share your answers. What do you have for number one? I have letter C. How about you, uh, Natividad or Emmanuel? I don't have number uh, one and two. Okay. One. The number two, I think is a letter B. What do you have in the number three? Number three, uh, letter C. Yes, me too. Letter C. The number four, I have letter C. Letter C. Letter C to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, my I, I don't have the letter, but the answer is Hong Kong. It's, it's... The same. Uh, what do you have for number five? Um, London. The answer is London. Mm -hmm. yeah, what is it? A, B, or C? I don't remember. I don't okay. And number six? France. I have letter C. It's e, C. C? Yes. All right. Uh, Listen uh, again. United States. Listen again and check your answers. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Test your knowledge. Can you guess the answers to these questions? One, which city has the tallest office building in the world? 
A. Kuala Lumpur. B. Taipei. C. Chicago. 2. Where is the longest suspension bridge? A. Japan. B. Denmark. C. China. 3. Where is the largest shopping mall? A. Canada. B. China. C. The United States. 4. Where is the busiest fast food restaurant in the world? A. Seoul. B. Moscow. C. Hong Kong. 5. Which city has the biggest soccer stadium in Europe? A. London. B. Dublin. C. Barcelona. 6. Which country has the most tourism? A. The United States. B. Spain. C. France. Okay, once again, please compare your answers. Number one, I have letter C, Chicago. Me too. Me too. Number two, I don't know exactly. Uh, letter C, Japan? Maybe. C? Japanese letter C? Yes. And four, I have letter C. What do you have? Um, letter C. <laughs> it's okay. Um, five, I have letter A. What do you have? And number letter two. A, London. Mm -hmm. no, what number? Number five. Five. Our number five, London. Yes. Letter, yes. A. letter A. And um, six. France, letter C. Okay. A. Now, go ahead. Uh, can you tell me what is question number one? Sue, can you listen? Can you hear us, Sue? Yes, teacher. Do you have problems with your internet? Yes, I did. If you have problems with the internet, it's a good idea to turn off your camera. It will work a little better. Mm, it's OK now. OK, perfect. So let's review. What is question number one? Mm, what which city, city has the tallest office building in the world? With no books, OK? Close your books. Which city has the tallest office building in the world? Perfect. What is question number two? Mm. I didn't write it. Which city has uh, Which longest is the biggest bridge? Bridge? Test your knowledge. Which city? Where? Where is the longest suspension bridge? What question is number three? Where is the biggest mall? Where is the largest shopping mall? Oh, the largest. Number four? What is the this is this? restaurant? More is it a restaurant? Mm -hmm. Where is the busiest fast food oh, restaurant busiest. in the world? What about number five? What question is number five? What is the biggest stadium? Where's the biggest stadium? The stadium? Which city has the, uh, biggest the biggest soccer stadium in Europe? And number six? What is the most popular country? The most, the most... 
in the world. Which country has the most tourism? Most tourism. Uh, now, let's check your answers. Let's begin to number one. Which city has the tallest office building in the world? A, Lampur, B, Taipei, or C, Chicago? What is your answer? Chicago. Chicago. And the answer is? I would say Kuala Lumpur. Oh my God. Taipei. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about number two? Where is the longest suspension bridge? Japan? China? Japan? Yes, Japan, <laughs> but it's actually letter A, not letter C. Letter A. Okay, what about number three? Where is the largest shopping mall? We have China. C, the United States. Yeah. China. My God. Letter B. China. Number four. Where is the busiest fast food restaurant in the world? <laughs> Hong Kong? Hong Kong, where is it? B, Moscow. Oh, my God. <laughs> this we is interesting. Problem. This is interesting. I didn't know these answers, okay? Yeah. But we have what to about... travel more. Yes, we have to. Tr it's homework. We have to travel more. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Which city has the biggest soccer stadium in Europe? Um, A, London. London. I'm sure. Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona. What happened with uh, What happened with... Uh, is there a new stadium in London that is the biggest one? Yes. Uh, I don't remember the name. It's, uh, this, this information is old. There is a new tallest building now. Maybe this is also new information. Yes? This information is 10 years maybe old. Maybe they don't know that Wimbledon. Ah, maybe the Wimbledon biggest is, stadium. is the new biggest stadium in the world. Yes, that's right. So let's jump to number six. Which country has the most tourism? Spain. France. France. I have a queue right here with the Eiffel Tower. Easy, guys. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, which place would you like to visit? All of them. <laughs> <Yes. Nice answer. laughs> okay, you can only pick two. Only two. France and Moscow. France and Moscow, guys. And France, well. and France, Moscow and Japan. Moscow and Japan. Okay. Danny and Natividad. Uh, Japan France. and London. Japan and London. Okay. And Danny. France and Japan. Very nice. Very good. Why? I would like to visit France because I know that uh, this country has uh, interesting museums and museums. buildings, yes. museums, and um, historical buildings. Yes. And Moscow because I would like to to try all foods that serve. Okay, this is a fast food restaurant. Fast food. Yes, I would like to try what all kind right. of uh, fast food they eat from there. From Moscow, okay. What about you guys? Manuel, Dani, and Natividad, why? Right, um, Japan. Japan and and Moscow. Um, I know uh, are different culture, but um, I think as it's a interesting um culture, and I want to to try to test uh the food too in uh both um countries. Okay, 
you would like to try the food. Yeah, try to test. Uh, no, try, only try. Try means you eat the food okay. for the first time. Try, try the food. Okay, try. To. Very, try the food, yes. Thank you, mister. Uh, Danny? Friends, because I would like to take a photo in front of the, of the uh, towel. Towel, towel. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> How romantic. Make sure you, you, you take a picture of a very handsome boy. No, only me. Only you, okay. <laughs> what about you, Natividad? Um, I would like to visit Japan because uh, I think that's a um, mystic country. Mystical country, yes. Mystical country, and, and I would try the, the food. The Japanese food. Yeah, and, Japanese food. And London, I would like to visit London uh, because the buildings are amazing. And, and I want to, to practice my English with other people. With other people, absolutely correct, mister. Now, uh, Danny and Sue, you can complete the questions in your book. Okay, Emanuel Antividad, complete the questions on the screen, please. What's the biggest train station in the world? Yes, now you, we've seen some of these uh, pictures with information and the clues to the answers are in these pictures. So go ahead and complete it, please. Emanuel and Natividad, complete it, please. What's the busiest airport in the world? Where okay, is please, please. Uh, what? Complete it, please. I'm completing. Where is the largest building building in the world? And what but you the... need to complete 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 ah. the question. Do I have to read it, to write it? Please. Write it. Go ahead, teacher. Finish, Danny? OK. So? Yes. Yes. OK. Finish. On the picture, teacher, on my notebook. On the picture. In the picture. Okay, finished. Now compare nice. your answers, ladies, please. Mm, number one, I have biggest. Okay, biggest, me too. And yeah, number two, I have for now. Ten more is most. most. The last one. Uh, the number two busiest. How about you, Sue? Two. Number three largest. Yes, yes, me too. And for um, the most expensive. Yes, most expensive. 
So here in number four, I have two answers. Most expensive or more expensive. No, the most choice is most expensive. expensive. So let me change this. Most expensive. Very good. Thank you very much. Those are the correct answers. Now ask and answer them with a partner. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Ask number one, two, three, and four with a classmate right here, right now. And can you guess the correct answers? So please, let's begin with Sue. The number one will be Sue. Number two, Emmanuel. Number three, Danny. Number four, Natividad. Please ask and the rest answer. Um, what's the biggest train uh, station in the world? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what is it, but what is it, but it's in Russia, I think. Everything is in Japan. Yes, I've heard something about a uh, station in Japan, but I don't know. Thing in London. I remember the Harry Potter train station. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number two, please. What the busiest airport in the world? I think in uh, Colombia, in the Dubai, Dubai, or in New York. Okay, I think it's in Colombia. Colombia, okay. Number three, um, please. Where is the largest building in the world? Dubai. I don't know the name, but it's in Dubai. Me too. Ah, it's for them. I think. Yes, number four. This where is um I don't know the city, but the country is uh, Swiss or Swiss. Swiss? Um, city? Uh, I yeah, think yeah but the York. city is... Uh, I think it's Dubai. Okay. Yes, maybe Dubai. Let's check some answers. Number one, what's the biggest train station in the world? Grand Central Station in New York City. It has the most platforms. Close, close. You guys said something in New York. Okay, number two. What's the busiest airport in the world? For war Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport in Georgia. It has the most passengers. Is the busiest because he has the most passengers. Yes. Now, here is a tricky one. This is a tricky. Where is the largest building? Not the tallest. The largest. What's the difference? Boeing Everett Factory in Washington, USA. But why is this the largest? Because it has the most usable the space. It's okay. It's, it's okay, Danny. Are you stressed? No, I'm okay. You're okay, very good. And the last one. What's the most expensive city in the world? Just like Natividad said it. Zurich, Switzerland. Uh, so is, yeah. <laughs> All right. I didn't remember the city. 
So what we have are superlatives, but I think you guys are familiar with superlatives, right? This is easy for you. With superlatives, we have two different kinds of superlatives. EST for short adjectives. So when we, when we have a short adjective like tall, short, nice, big, small, to all of these short adjectives, we add only EST. EST, so it is tallest, shortest, nicest, biggest, and the smallest. And we have a question form. What's the tallest? And of course, with a superlative, it is important to say the. The tallest building in the world. What is the busiest restaurant? For long adjectives, when we have a long adjective, then we don't use EST. We use either the most or the uh, opposite list. What are the long adjectives? Well, we have expensive, which is the font. It's only list or the list? Uh, the list, beautiful. Uh, another one, interesting. Intelligent. Intelligent, yes, etc. Then we don't use EST, but we use most or least. Example, what's the most interesting city in your country? What's the least expensive store? We have irregular superlatives. What are irregular? When the adjective acquires a different form. Good in superlative is the best. And bad is the worst. What's the best country to visit? What's the worst problem in your city? And with nouns, with nouns, we have the most and the, and the noun, or the least plus noun. Coming. Okay, very good. So which country has the most tourism? Which stadium has the most seats? In conversation, the most plus adjective is about 20 times more common than the least plus adjective. Comparatives and superlatives. We have the adjective strong. This is only an adjective. And then what we have is a comparative, a stronger. And then we have a superlative, a strongest. One more time. Here we have an adjective. And then we have a comparative, faster. And then we have a superlative, fastest. Heavy, heavier, heaviest. Smart, smarter, smartest. The difference between the comparative and the superlative is that comparative compares between two individuals. 
Yes, for example, this is A, Albert, and this is B, Beto. So Beto is a smarter than Albert. You're comparing two subjects, one against the other. But with a superlative, you are comparing one individual with an entire group. So here we have Beto, and here we have, um, what do you say? Three B, I don't know what you call it. This is the group three B. So Beto is the smartest of the group three B. And this is how we do it. When we have a one syllable adjective, we just simply add EST, long, longest, tall, tallest, the straight, straightest, large, largest, big, biggest, hot, hottest. When we have two syllable, it depends on the sound. Here, for example, honest, it ends with EST. So we don't say honestest. We say most honest. Famous. We don't say famouses. We say most famous. But with happy, we say happiest. Crazy, we say craziest. Narrow, narrowest. And gentle, gentlest. So that will depend on the sound. And we also have the long adjectives. When you have a long adjective, we just simply add most. Most. The most dangerous, the most beautiful, the most difficult, etc. And we have the irregulars. Good is best, bad is worse, fast is farthest, or furthest. It has two different ones. Far has two different. Uh, superlatives, farthest and furthest. Many is most and little is least. Now, to make it in an example. Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the most common? Fast, fast, fastest or fastest? This one. is not about speed. Okay. This is about distance. Mm -hmm. In the other one? They're both, they're both distance. Two kilometers, three kilometers, four kilometers. Yes, but what is the most common? They're both equally the same. OK. So we have here an example. When you have this and you're comparing this, this type of measure, this type of measure is, is uh, called tall. Okay? And we'll check a different type of measure later. Right now, I want you to think, what building is taller than all the buildings in the world? Well, there are a lot of really tall buildings in the world, but the tallest of them all is, which one is it, guys? Taipei. Taipei was. There is a new tallest building. Which one is that? The first one. The first one, right? It's Burj Dubai. Now it's called Burj Dubai, Burj Khalifa, right? It's called Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the new tallest building. Now look at the city. Beautiful city. 
Now think about it and tell me, what's the most expensive city in the world? Complete sentence, please. Mm -hmm. The most expensive city in the world is Dubai. Nope. Greece. What? Is Zurich? Zurich. A complete sentence, please, Mister. Complete the, sentence. The most the expensive most. city in the world is Zurich. Yes, sorry. And where is Zurich? In Switzerland. In Switzerland. Very nice. What What's the least expensive city in the world? Oh, um. The least expensive city in the world. Is... Oh. Your opinion, because I don't know. <laughs> I think Which city no. is not expensive? I know, Tasco el Viejo. <laughs> not expensive, Tasco el Viejo. Or it's maybe cheaper. Maybe Puebla. I don't know. What's the least expensive city? I think in is Guatemala. Complete sentence, please, Mr. Um the least expensive city in the world, uh, in my opinion, is Guatemala. Very good, sir. I've heard Guatemala is really cheap, yes. I've heard comments about it. Another one. Oh, what is this? A oh, restaurant. a restaurant. Where is this restaurant? Here in Acapulco. Yes. What's the name of it, Sue? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's called Sirocco. Something like that. I haven't been there. No, neither have I. So let's think about this restaurant and respond. What's the best restaurant in your city? In my opinion, the best restaurant is Italian. Italian, it's okay. In what about you guys? In my town, the best restaurant is Coritas Doña Jose. Yes, I, I agree with you. Um, the best restaurant in my town is La, La Cabaña. Very good, mister. Emanuel, what about you? Uh, the best restaurant in my place is uh, La Barranca. Perfect. What about the worst restaurant? Worst. The worst restaurant in my town is, the name is uh, Fiacos, Larry, a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> Fiacos or Flacos? Fiacos. Fiacos. Uh, that sounds strange. Yeah. I would say the worst restaurant in my town is El Churro Americanista. Oh my goodness. It sounds like it's a bad restaurant. El yes, churro. it is. El Churro Americanista. Okay. All right. What about you, Danny? And you, Manuel? I don't know. The worst restaurant here is... Um, I don't remember, but is that uh, Taqueria? One Taqueria. Is that no? But I don't remember the name. A taqueria. That's good. A taqueria. There you go. What about you, Dani? Do you have an answer? Mm -hmm. uh, the worst restaurant in my town is Jason. Jason's. Mm -hmm. Jason's. Mm -hmm. There you go. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, one more question. Which city has the most buildings? New York. Complete New York. sentence, Danny, please. Mm. Uh, the city has the most buildings in the world is New York. 
Okay, that city, the city with the most buildings is New York. Okay. Can I say uh, New York, New York uh, has the most building in the world? Yes, New York has the most buildings, very good. So, and Manuel, do you agree with your classmates? Mm, I don't know. Mm. I think, I think it's- China, I think China, China has the most buildings. China, New York, and 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 uh, Hong Kong. Chicago. What about the least buildings? Okay. That's cool, viejo. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know Acapulco. Actually, Have Acapulco has the least. Building quite a few because it's a touristic place, but it doesn't matter, it's good. Acapulco, okay. Open your books, uh, Manuel and Natividad. Please work together and complete these uh, questions, please. I will be back in one minute. It's a, it's, it's a most? No, it's, uh, it's what is? Yes, it's the most. What is? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm, I'm going to complete the uh, four, six, and eight, okay? Are you agree? Me? No, for you, three, five, seven, nine. Three, five, seven, nine. Yes. Mm. You agree? Okay. What's, uh... Oh, sorry. The most tourist, no? Yeah. Ready. What for you? Good is a is a more better? Yes. Best. Best. No, only the best. Just yes. best? The best. The best university. Um, okay. Biggest. 
Can I do it? Okay. Okay, guys, let's check your answers. Did you compare what you have? Okay, so number one, I'm sorry, number two, which airport has the most flight? Flights. Flights. Yeah. Yes. Flights. Yeah, that's correct. Number two, uh, three. <laughs> What's the most fast? No, this no. is not correct. Yeah, the fastest. 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 Double T? Double T, yes. Oh, shoot. Okay, number four. The most beautiful. Most beautiful. Yes, very good. Number five, which city has the most, the most what? The most tourism. The most tourism, yes. That's all you have to do to complete it. Just put the most tourism. Number six, where's the most famous monument? Perfect. Number seven. What's the best university? Very good. Number eight, what's the worst problem? And number nine, which city has the biggest population? Perfect. Okay. Now, what do you have to do, guys? Ask and answer the question. Ask and answer the questions, please. So let's begin. Number one will be again. No, that will be Dana. I'm sorry, not Dana. Dani. And then uh, Natividad, Sue, Emmanuel. And then you start over again. Please begin. What's the largest city? Mm -hmm. Everybody answers, okay? Everybody has to give an opinion. Please. Um, I think the largest city is San Tokyo. San Francisco. I think Tokyo because it's um Japan is an Iceland. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, I think Hong Kong is the largest city. Okay, number two. I think the largest city is um, Tokyo. Okay, guys, number two, which airport has the most flights? Every day. Um, I have. Oh, international here, airport has most flights every day. Which airport? I think uh, Dallas Forward is a, a very big airport. Dallas Forward. I don't know. What do you think about it? I think uh, the most flights every day is it's in the US. Yes, it's in the US. Yes. But which uh, do you know? What's, okay, number what's, three. what's fastest what's way to the, travel? The fastest. What's the fastest way to travel? Guys, before you continue, I forgot to mention something to you. You can go on the internet and find out the answers, okay? okay. You can Google it. What's the largest city? And whatever it tells you. 
Go ahead and share your answers, okay? And you can continue, please. What is, yeah. what is the most beautiful region? I think it's uh, Europe. Region. I think Japan. I like Japan. Uh, the most beautiful region, I think it's China. Uh, number five, which city has the most tourism? Mm. In my opinion, I think Spain has the most tourism. I think, I think France. I think France too. Yeah. France has the most tourism. tourism. And number six, where's the most famous monument? I think Paris, the Eiffel Tower. Top. Mm -hmm. the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I don't know. Agree. Eiffel Tower is a monument, yes, no? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. I think so. I don't know where. Okay, number seven for Sue. Mm, what's the best university? I see, you know. I think it's jail. Mm, Harvard University. I heard that Harvard. the best university is Oxford. Oxford. Okay, I think Harvard. Harvard and Oxford. Number eight. Uh, what is the worst problem for people? I think is the um. I think the worst problem for people is the lack of education. I think it's the lies. Lies, maybe. I think it's the money, the worst problem for the people, for people. The worst problem for the people is they, they are not honest sometimes. <clears throat> what city has the biggest population? Uh, I think Pekin. The city has the biggest population. Pekin. Pekin? Pekin is the uh, capital of China. Pekin. Mm, yeah. Yes. You're right. Mm. China is okay. followed by India, but the, the biggest population in the world is China. Yes, but which city exactly? Is. Mm, it doesn't say it, only says, only says the country. I'm Googling it. <laughs> All right. How are you doing, guys? Finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Very good. Now we have a speaking naturally, linking, and deletion with superlatives. What you're going to practice now is the pronunciation. Notice how when you speak, this is a speaking activity. When you speak, this words, these uh, letters, I'm sorry, they sound together as one syllable. And mm. what that does, it makes the word sound like one word together. But it's only the effect of the speaking. So that's what you're going to practice. Listen and repeat. Are you ready? Yes. 
It it's happens like in same. French. Oh, wow. The I, liaison? Didn't, I didn't know that. Honey. Yeah, um, in French. Uh, sometimes uh, the last, um, the beginning of the syllables uh, are you native? Uh, combined? Uh huh, combined. Okay. In this one, on this side over here that I have over here, it's a little different. When you speak naturally, it sounds like the T is not pronounced. So let me do this differently. So you don't hear the T. So once again, you're going to listen and repeat. On one, on this side, the words are connected. And on the other side, the T is silent. Check it out. Notice how the final ST is linked to vowel sounds and the sounds H, L, R, W, Y. However, the final T is deleted before and the S is linked to most consonant sounds. Link the final ST to vowel sounds and the sounds H, L, R, W, Y. What's the most interesting neighborhood? What's the tallest office building? Please repeat. What's the tallest office building? What's the most interesting What's neighborhood? The hotel? What's the tallest office building? What's the biggest... What's the largest hotel? library? What's the biggest hotel? What's no, the largest you need to listen, library? Listen and repeat and the sounds. The One more time. Sound. What's the nicest restaurant? What's, What's the, the nicest, nicest restaurant? restaurant? What's the fastest way to travel around? What's the fastest, the fastest way to travel, travel around? around? What's the oldest university? What's the oldest What's the university? Old university? Delete the final T and link the S to most consonant sounds. What area has the most traffic? What area has the most traffic? Where What's the busiest the mall or shopping area? What's the busiest mall or shopping area? Where's the biggest stadium? Where's the biggest, the biggest stadium? stadium? What's the best sports team? What's the What's best, best sports, sports team? team? What neighborhood has the most clubs? What neighborhood Never. has the most clubs? What's the most popular dance club? What's the most, the most popular, popular dance, dance club? club? What's the best movie theater? What's, What's the, the best, best movie, movie theater? theater? All right, we're going to practice again. Please close your books. Tell me when you're ready. Hey. Ready. Notice how the Ready. final ST is linked R, W, However, the final link to most consonant sounds. Link the final ST to vowel sounds and the sounds H, L, R, W, Y. What's the most interesting neighborhood? What's the most the interesting, most interesting neighborhood? neighborhood? What's the tallest office building? What's, What's the, tallest the tallest office, office building? building? Emmanuel, are you repeating? I can't hear you, mister. Okay, what's the tallest building? What's the biggest hotel? What's the biggest what's hotel? The biggest what's hotel? the biggest hotel? What's the largest library? What's, What's the, largest the largest library? library? What's, the What's, the nice What's the nicest restaurant? What's the nicest restaurant? 
What's the fastest way to travel around? What's the fastest way to travel around? What's the oldest university? What's the, the oldest, oldest university? university. What's the oldest? Delete the final T and link the S to most consonant sounds. What area has the most traffic? What area has the most traffic? What's the busiest mall or shopping area? What's the busiest mall or shopping area? Where's the biggest stadium? The biggest stadium. Where's the biggest sports team? What? What's the best sport team? Sport team. What's the best sport team? Yes. What neighborhood has the most clubs? What neighborhood, what neighborhood has the most clubs? What's the most popular dance club? What's the, What's most, the most popular, popular dance, dance, club? dance club? What's the best movie theater? What's, What's the, the best, best movie, movie theater? theater? What's the best movie theater? Mm, it's finished. All right, that was really good, guys. Now, the last activity you have to do is ask and answer the questions about, about your city. Uh, think about your city. Answer your own opinion. Agree on one answer, and um, you don't have to do that. So just ask an answer, please, because Sue is in Acapulco, Danny is in Tasco Viejo. Natividad, where are you at, mister? Eh, Lombardia. And Emmanuel, where are you? Um, in the uh, Estado de Mexico. There you go. So you don't have to agree. So just talk about your city. And we're going to do the same dynamic. The first question is Sue, then Emmanuel, then Danny, and then Natividad. And then continue the row, please. Begin. Mm, what's the most interesting neighborhood? Mm. You don't have to find the answers on the internet because it's about your city or town but you have to answer, okay? Everybody has to answer. Yes? I think the most sure. interesting neighborhood in my city um, could be um, Diamond, Acapulco, Diamond Zone. The most historic neighborhood in my town is San Juan. The most interesting in my neighborhood, maybe it's a, the new airport. Most interesting neighborhood. I don't know, it's, it's called La Rivera because there are a lot of parties. What is the tallest office building? Mm, maybe um, the new the new fields for the new airport. Thank uh, you. Mm, I don't know the name of the tallest office building, but. There is one in Acapulco Costera. In my town doesn't have offices buildings. In my town, there are no office buildings. It's a small town. In our town is I don't, I don't remember about uh, the 
Alton's name. Okay. What's the biggest hotel? The biggest hotel in the town is Puesto del Sol. I think the biggest hotel in my city is the Crown Plaza. The biggest hotel in my town is La Pinera. The biggest. Oh, sorry, Los Pinos. We are finished for today. How was the class? It was really good. It was interesting. We learned different things it about was everything. Nice, it's good. It's so interesting for me. Okay, very good. Yeah, what do you think, Emmanuel? The most interesting. Mm, I talked to uh, the guys of uh, more interesting here is um, the new airport. I live near to the new new airport that. Uh, the Santa Lucia. Yes. The new, uh, the new one. Yes, yeah, Santa Lucia. I live near near to Santa Lucia. You're near Santa Lucia. Okay. But the question was about the class. How was the class for you, Mister? Uh, it's uh, very, very interesting, and um, I learned uh, the superlatives, the structure. Uh, I like it. Very nice, Mister. Do you have any question, guys? No, not sure. No, no that's fine. Uh, then the homework, ladies, Danny and Sue, workbook, lesson uh, unit three, lesson A. Yes? Right. Vocabulary, vocabulary notebook two? Not yet, but you can do it if you want to. Teacher, thank you. But that will be for tomorrow. Yeah. Because I have, I have questions. Just not to that. What about uh, our situation or my situation in this course? Get connected again. I'll um, see you in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but about this course, like, um, well, or tomorrow, let me, let me or no. yeah, let connect, connect to the other group, and we, we'll talk about it, OK? OK. Yes, mister. Um, uh, I am going to get uh, maybe five five or, or six minutes for the next session. Yes, mister. It's OK. Thank you. All right. Teacher. Thank you, guys. Ladies, I'll see you tomorrow. Guys, see you in 30 seconds. See you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.